He looks like a tough street cap, but there was something about him that was just so sweet, like a little old bear. We wanted to find out if he might be more friendly than we thought. He lived on the cold, hard streets of Brooklyn for years and years. So this is where Charlie was living. My good friend, who's also a cat rescuer, and myself, and we went out there and we trapped him. We had no idea if he was friendly. We just kind of tested the waters out by just sticking our finger in the cage with just patting his head. And we were able to do that. He wouldn't freak out. He was just sitting there very shut down and withdrawn in the corner. We bring him to the vet. He's at least eight years old. And they get him on the table and the vet tech was petting his head. All of a sudden, Charlie started pushing his head into her hand and like rolling around and acting happy and purring. It was like a breakthrough moment. From there, we started focusing on socializing him, finding out just how friendly he is. He still wasn't a normal, friendly cat. He still definitely was very rough around the edges. He had to learn all over again how to live with humans. He just had no trust. Maybe humans really hurt him or failed him. When he's first approached, he often will hiss, just because it's like a reflex. It's like something that's so ingrained in him. So his cage has been his home base. That was his safety spot. He'd want to be in the cage. So we started taking him out of the cage more and more and seeing how he would do in a normal home environment. If I would just sit there very quietly and just pet him, he'd start getting really affectionate and start purring and I was able to sit with him for a while. I just would do that every day. I would take him out of the cage, just sit with him and pet him and he would start getting more comfortable. There was a breakthrough moment we had. One night I discovered that I could pick him up and hold him like a baby. And he started purring and actually seemed to really like it. It was really, really amazing. But then ever since then I would do that a lot. It's like he feels safe that way. He's this rough street cat, but he actually is a baby deep down. He lets his guard down pretty easily. It's a matter of you not being scary to him, not making any big moves, not being loud. Sometimes he just needs his hiding place since he left alone, but he thrives off of love and affection too. So you gotta know the right way to be able to engage in that with him. Well, he's waiting for us, his forever home. I'm running a cat rescue and we help as many other cats as we can, but if we keep the cats that we find, that's gonna not enable us to keep on doing this work. Harley lived on the streets for so long, he's making up for all the years that he didn't get love from anyone and if we can just give him that that would be just the best thing ever. Harley deserves a warm home. Like, comment and subscribe.